this year, I showed up to work with a new body. This robotic version of myself is a QB telepresence robot. It allowed me to go to the office without actually leaving my house. I borrowed this robot from a company in California called Anybots, which sells each unit for $15,000. Several other companies are selling telepresence robots, and they are being touted as the future of work. My QB arrived in New York in a huge plastic box, and it came with a human companion, Anybots engineer Erin Rapaki. Her job was to help set up the robot. When you receive your robot, the robot will be packed away and it'll be about three feet tall. It's not exactly plug and play. Rapaki had to load batteries on the robot and also configure the computer so it could work on our network. All right, so I need to Skype. Now it was my turn to take control. From my home in Brooklyn, I connected to the robot and rolled into the hall to find my coworkers. The QB right, robot right, looks I'm a bit sorry. like a floor lamp but my colleagues seem to like it. Okay, now listen to me. Well, maybe not everyone. I know that you've been, you think you've got a stronger processor than me. Learning to drive was very easy. I used the arrow keys on my keyboard to steer, just like a video game. The QB rolls on a self-balancing base, and it has two cameras on the head. One camera faces forward, while the second faces down so you can see obstacles on the floor. I managed to pilot the robot to the conference room to attend several meetings. It was really an improvement over trying to listen to a group of people using a speakerphone. I could hear better, and when I talked, people looked at the robot, so I felt like they were paying attention to me. <laughs> but my favorite interactions were the informal ones, when I just went to see my co-workers at their offices, or when I ran into them in the corridors. What are you having at home? Electronic um, circuits? Or? Just some coffee. Now, being a robot is not a perfect existence. The little video screen on the robot's head wasn't working. Instead of showing video of my face, it could only show a static image. The office didn't have good Wi-Fi coverage, and when the Wi-Fi was low, the video would be garbled. A couple of times, I actually got disconnected from the robot. It turns out that my robot needed its own human assistant. But I mostly enjoy my experience. I can see why companies that have many offices and employees might want these robots. They won't replace other video conference systems, and they won't replace most travel anytime soon. But I think these robots will get better and cheaper, and they will become a common sight. Everyone will get used to them. Well, almost everyone. But you're just yellow! For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Eric Ogizo. Thank you.